get started. Ronald McDonald House Charities, they are an awesome charity that basically offers support to families that have children with illnesses where they need to stay long term in a hospital. They offer housing in convenient locations, they offer meals and other supports to those families. So then the Red Shoe Shindig is something that they put on every year that helps bring in some money for the charity, but also exposes everybody there to um, some of the good things that Ronald McDonald House does every year. So they came to us and they asked, is there something that you can do to help share this event so more people learn about it and more people become interested? You know, give them kind of an Instagrammable moment that allows them to post something online um, and really spread the Ronald McDonald House charity name. It just is like a spiderweb effect, like everyone from every corner can see it and know and then who knows, maybe someone sees that picture, didn't know, and now they're a donor. And so after Ronald McDonald House came to us with the project, we took a look at the location. It was a massive ballroom. And while we were there, we took measurements. We looked at possible spots for the installation and we figured out how small this thing would have to be in order to fit through the doors. All right, did you get all that? Now, what if I told you we only had a $5,000 budget and two months to get it all done? Cool. Where do we start? <laughs> We got the guidelines of what they were looking for in the project, um, and then they kind of said, go for it and figure out what we're doing. Um, and so with that, our intern group got together and kind of thought out a bunch of different ideas. And so we had a bunch of napkin sketches, didn't know what we were going to do with them all. Uh, so I said, I'll take them all and think this out and, and put them on paper. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, uh, we left off and we were talking about how um, we've all made a little bit of progress, um, but not where we all want to be yet. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and share the slides and just kind of show what we're um, kind of looking for. And I focus a lot too on their branding and making sure that we are still following their branding guidelines. I mean, all of us interns, we're all in five different areas. So we all don't think the same because we're not all in the same areas. That opens up a lot of ideas. My favorite part of this project is actually just the process itself. I really loved going through that with all the other interns. I really enjoyed the fact that as interns we were trusted with so much of the design concept. The design in and of itself is all brought from beginning to end, like almost 100% interns. You know, you hear, oh, $5,000 budget, five interns are working on this. You don't really know what to expect, but the client's expectations were exceeded the second that we showed them our first design. We'd love to, to open the conversation. That was all, I want to do them all! <laughs> oh my God, these are awesome. Thank you. Thank so you. cool, you guys. So just creative and well thought out. And I just, on this, I think this is going to be a really tough kind of discussion and decision because I, I really do like them all. They're, they're just great. It was really cool to see the support that came from our coworkers at DI. You know, we're new to this company. It really meant a lot to us that they were paying attention and congratulated us for the work that we were doing. That was easy. <laughs> With a heart, we just kind of leaned into that idea early on and that's what they picked. Because, you know, we can just go down a rabbit hole of multiple ideas, but at some point we have to come back to reality and pick one or three. <laughs> the heart design uh, originated from their logo primarily. Um, so if you look at the Ronald McDonald House logo, of course there's the house with the two hands and then the heart coming out of the chimney. We took that heart and turned that into a shoestring for the Red Shoe Shindig and really tried to bring their two-dimensional concepts to a three-dimensional space. They really want us to focus on the roots and the meaning behind Ronald McDonald House and what it really stands for. But um, yeah, just the way it looks, kind of the depth that it brings, it's, it just aesthetically is pleasing. Um, the biggest hurdle for this project, um, I think the budget. It's way over budget, way over budget. Holy cow. <laughs> Doing something that looks extravagant on a small budget. What hoops you have to jump through, how many people you have to talk to to get something done. These meetings, because we were going back and forth and we were kind of getting almost opposing answers, it seemed, but. I'm not going to go into that final design presentation and say, actually, we switched everything from two weeks ago because we don't have enough money. It was kind of up in the air how we were going to construct this thing. The idea was great, but how do we build it and what materials would work structurally while keeping the budget low? 
I actually got to go in and design these specific materials and put them on the object so people could see how is that going to look. That helped a lot actually because it instantly narrowed down our ideas of materials. Right now I'm working on a lot of renderings with the project so that's always fun to kind of make a picture of that final product. And so really hammering down what those details are. How do we actually make it? Um, finding the materials. What is the finish on it? And how do these pieces come together? All of that trial and error work is super fascinating. It's made out of uh, foam and laminated with uh, Sentra. So it'll be this big shiny red color that I think will really stand out. I was more along the technology side. And so a lot of what they wanted with the structure was they wanted some sort of digital interaction piece. So Riley, with the help of me designing some of the 3D elements of it, Riley made a Snapchat filter. And so we're hoping that these uh, Snapchat filters and the structure itself uh, will kind of work together to really create that photogenic moment. And that was um, my kind of development project to be able to have all these filters that you could then take pictures with the structure, but then also these filters are gonna be available to individuals who maybe couldn't make the event and have to be at home. So a way for people to take pictures that still promote this event, no matter their location, and be able to post them and promote uh, Ronald McDonald House uh, online. We've got the look down, so now let's, let's make it real. We did it. <laughs> there was a lot about the project that we weren't sure could happen. Uh, this large freestanding heart, um, how does that support itself? What is it made of? What do those joints look like? Um, so I did a lot of uh, trial and error research and hands-on uh, construction to kind of bring some of those details to life. Since it's so like non-organic, that's a real challenge of how do we actually make this. The one single curve and base, it's just too big. It's like 10 feet, so it's got to be split up in a couple sections. Now I'm really getting some work done with fabrication, splitting it in the correct areas, trying to put the hardware in and getting it ready for the shop to manufacture. A structure this big is never really found at like a short-term event like this, and so just that impact I hope um, will leave kind of an imprint for people. It's like eye candy. You see it, you just, like a magnet, you're just drawn to it. We want to get people excited about this event. We want to get people excited about the specific thing we've created. You know, when, when someone takes a picture with it, they can look back on that event and it gives them, you know, something to remember about the night. We want to get people hyped up for next year. But then on the heart, uh, they have their slogan for the event says forever tied together. Um, and so when they, when they hear that forever tied together, they see the big heart and we're hoping that they really step back and think about, um, you know, why is this event happening? What are we doing this? Uh, who are we doing this for? And people will kind of see that structure um, in relation to the brand of Ronald McDonald House, even if it was just a temporary event for one year. Even if each person that posted just gets one other person to donate uh, to the organization or um, go and, and volunteer somehow with a nonprofit, it's going to make Ronald McDonald House stronger and it's going to make the Kansas City community stronger too. Thanks, Tara. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Hi, everybody. Awesome. Have a great Bye. long weekend. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Well, see you soon. Nice. <clears throat>